big story on Action News tonight is union leader John Doherty, guilty of conspiracy and seven other counts. Councilman Bobby Heenan, guilty of conspiracy and nine other counts. Doherty emerged from federal court this afternoon, promising to appeal the verdict, but facing yet a second federal trial, the result of a sweeping indictment from two years ago. Prosecutors said that Doherty hired Heenan to a $70,000 a year union job so he could influence Heenan's actions on city council. Action News reporter Annie McCormick is live outside federal court. Annie, there were convictions and acquittals for both men, but did the jury agree with that basic premise of the allegation? And Jim, it appears that they did. These convictions will likely send both men to prison, possibly for up to 20 years. However, like you said, they both said that they will appeal this conviction. Now, the U.S. Attorney's Office, they also tried to have John Doherty locked up today. However, the judge sided with the defense's argument that he should be able to walk until sentencing. Council member Bobby Heenan left court with nothing to say after a jury found Heenan and local IBEW Local 98 union boss John Doherty guilty on multiple counts in the federal corruption and bribery trial. I'm going to go back and regroup. I'm going to take my time. I'm going to meet with my lawyers. I'm going to meet with the heads of the unions, you know, and then we'll regroup. I'll tell you what my top priority is. I skipped missing my booster shot with my wife. Jurors found Doherty guilty on 8 of 11 counts against him and Heenan guilty of 10 of 18 counts against him. Both were found guilty of conspiracy and honest services fraud. Heenan was also found guilty of federal program bribery. Prosecutors allege that Heenan's $70,000 a year local 98 salary he received while in office was a bribe to do what Doherty wanted. Over the course of the six-week trial, wiretaps played. Dozens of witnesses were called. There were nine specific schemes the U.S. Attorney's Office laid out alleging bribery and conspiracy. You cannot hide a bribe in the form of salary. There is no special interest that is entitled to purchase an elected official for their own interest. Elected officials have to represent the interests of all the people. Doherty has said all along his priority was to build the union to make it competitive, which led to jobs. Frank Keel, Local 98's longtime spokesperson, arguing what both men did was legal and spoke about the fate of union leadership. Justice was not served today. What they got convicted of is called lobbying. It's legal. But it does not appear that he will need to step down until an appeal process is completed. So and Jim, we just learned moments ago, according to a source close to Doherty, that he is contemplating stepping down from the union for the good of the union, not because he feels that he is guilty. Like you said, he still has two additional trials to face. Bobby Heenan has not stepped down. We're now reporting live in Center City, Annie McCormick, Channel 6, Action News. Jim. Thank you, Annie.